We gotta come back in, guys, one more time. There's some stuff we gotta pick up, some odds and ends left behind. And I haven't been here all week because I've been working at the other shop trying to organize everything and get it ready to open tomorrow. So today's Sunday and uh, August 1st, tomorrow will be the day we open the new place. And I just wanted to come in and grab the stuff we needed and take a quick look around, I guess. And this kind of caught me, caught me a little bit by surprise, I guess, because it's funny, even though I, you know, obviously we moved and uh, I was here for most of the moving. Uh, there were some things that were still here, and now they're not. Uh, scrap guy was here, took the desk, and I think that was like, you know, one of the big things because that desk has been here forever. And it was just a permanent fixture in the place, you know, for as far as I can remember. And uh, it was right there. I'm sure you guys have probably seen uh, before, maybe, I don't know. But um, yeah, this is weird. <laughs> There's a big area where my toolbox was sitting, and over here was Joe's toolbox, you know, next to it. And uh, this corner here, I remember, I remember this corner when I first started working here, when I was first hired by Joe in 96. And um, there was a bench right here, you know, a small bench, a chair, and a uh, parts washer was sitting over here in this side here with a an old tank to clean carburetors and you know Bear Bear would be in here he lived in this corner for most of the time that I worked here I mean when I was at least back in the 90s you know late 90s early 2000s because he was in here rebuilding carburetors and um, I'd love to have a number on how many of those things that he did you know him and Joe but uh, yeah that corner was like that corner was Bear's corner that was uh, that was it you know and he did all the carburetors and stuff over there Obviously did a lot of other stuff around here too, but uh, I just remember that, you know, that was a memory that I got in the place when, when I started. It was pretty cool seeing him when I'd come in in the morning. He'd already be here usually and uh, he, would be, uh, he would be over there in that corner washing a carburetor or taking it apart or blowing it out with the airline and uh, usually did a couple of them a day at least. So that was, that was pretty neat, you know. And, uh, man, this room looks empty without the lift. Holy God almighty. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so, uh, a lot of, uh, like I said, you know, before, there's a lot of history in this place. And, uh, you know, it doesn't mean anything to a lot of you guys, but it does to us. Um, there's a lot of people, believe it or not, who's, who, who came through here over the years. I mean, I don't know how long this place has actually been here. I couldn't tell you a date on the year or anything like that, but... Uh, you know when it opened originally, but uh, Joe Dalia that I worked for has been here for 42 years. He started here, I believe, in either I think it was 74, and uh, he's been here. I think he started in 74. I think he was 17 years old when he started, and he worked for a, 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 a man named Joe Cerrone. <clears throat> uh, Joe Cerrone. Uh, I don't know the history before him, but I know he owned it for quite a long time. And um, he passed on, and <laughs> phone still works. And uh, Joe took the uh, Joe took the place over shortly after he passed away. Uh, a few years after he passed away, I should say, I think in 1990. So he's had it since as the owner and operator. And uh, uh, you know, like I said, I didn't get here till '96. I was hired, so we've all had history here. Plus. Uh, plus, you know, friends that have worked here over the years, friends of his, and became friends of mine. And then uh, uh, his cousin, who originally got him the job, you know, Anthony, Tony, uh, he got him the job here. He actually started something pretty cool back in the day, Tony did. Uh, it was the uh, Fist Local 288. That was pretty, that's pretty neat. Yeah, he, he made his own local in the shop wrote it right on the wall over there and uh, that's what I'm saying like this is crazy you know thinking about this stuff now here's uh here's some more writing Mike and Tony I'm not sure who Mike is um, not sure about that there's an old Joe's generator I guess that's way before my time in this place 
that's been covered most of the time by a banner. Uh, I think it was a walker sign that was up there, looks like, and uh, just a lot of, lot of memories, man. I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to know how many cars came through this place over the years and how many, you know, how many cars have been fixed in this place and uh, how many people walk through these doors. I, I just couldn't fathom it, you know. There's it's so much, so much history in this shop, in this little shop. You know, it's, uh, it's just crazy, man. It's crazy. And I was here for the better part of 20 years, I guess, 21 years, something like that. Um, most of the time, anyway. And, you know, it became more, it's, it was like a family, you know what I mean? This place has always been family. Uh, Bear, Joe. Uh, Joe was a father to everybody, you know. And um, cousin Tony, who uh, I love to death. You know, his cousin Tony, who uh, just make you <laughs> make you lose your mind, make you laugh, no matter what was going on. Always had a good. Uh, we always had a good time, you know. And um, it was just cool having uh, having this place like going absolutely crazy with business and not knowing where to where to start first on what you know what to look at first here. And um, you'd be in the middle of doing ten things and. You know, you'd have a car pull up, and it was Tony, either the Cadillac or something, and one of the Mustangs or whatever. And he would, blow, you know, he would make sure that he would either block this bay door or that bay door. But uh, he would definitely park in the bay door, and um, it was just great, you know. It was great. He would get out, and everybody start yelling at him, "Move the car, get out of there!" You know, we're trying to move cars around. It seemed like he had perfect timing for that. We'd be trying to pull the car out, and he would, he would magically know which bay to block, and. Um, you know, it was, it was great. And then he would sit in the chair, we'd get lunch, we'd hang out, and um, he would make fun of me or somebody else or whatever, and, you know, we just had a really good time in this place. I mean, it's just a, it's never going to be the same without, I guess, I don't know, I guess the place, you know, it's never, never going to be the same, you know. But <clears throat> uh, Rosmo and I are going to be in Bayonne tomorrow, like I said, opening tomorrow for the first time. In, uh, in a new shop, and we're gonna we're gonna carry it on. And I'm sure, you know, having Joe down there with us to hang out and help us out or whatever is gonna be gonna be a big help, a lot of support. And hopefully, Tony will come down and you know drive us crazy during the day because uh, without him down there, it ain't, definitely isn't gonna be the same. Uh, <clears throat> so far, uh, Bear's moved on to a different job. He's working on something he's always wanted to do. He's doing race cars full time now, so that's I'm I'm nothing but happy for him. You know, I wish him the best, and he'll be down. He'll be definitely coming down to hang out at the new place with us and pitching it. I'm sure. And uh, this is just it's just crazy. I can't believe I I can't get over like looking inside this place, walking around here, and thinking about all this stuff is just nuts. You know, it's it's one of the places you never thought would be gone. But they're gonna knock this down, <clears throat> and they're gonna open. Uh, they're gonna, I'm sorry. They're gonna they're gonna build condos here, of course. If you guys aren't familiar with the area, it's downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Uh, yeah. So everything down here, all the little businesses like this, um, they're all being bought out, and they're all being knocked down, and they're ruining the neighborhoods, in my opinion. But that's you know, it is what it is, I guess. Um, but that's what happened here. They, you know, they bought the property, and uh, they're going to build a condo, which is exactly what we need here because there's not enough of them, and the place isn't congested enough or anything. So, you know, it makes perfect sense to put another one up. But in any case, I'm ranting now. I guess I'll stop. But uh, yeah, it's it sucks. You know, it sucks. What can I say? Um, I guess the cool thing is, down at the uh, down at the new place, you know, my uh, my good buddy Joe Spino does um, you know does his thing down there with the race cars, and uh, you know, we've always been around that stuff, so it's it's pretty cool, you know, I'll get to wire up some race cars probably and play around with that stuff a little bit, which I always enjoy doing. Uh, I've always enjoyed doing on the side, but. Uh, you know, 
this is what we do, you know. We fix, uh, we fix the normal stuff here, or the, or the abnormal stuff, I should say, the stuff nobody else really wants to get involved with or can't fix. And uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. But I just wanted to get this on video because I wanted to, there was a, I just noticed some stuff, you know, when I was, when I was in here today and I, I saw the, uh, I guess the writing on the wall, right? When I saw that, I, I just said, you know, I gotta get a video of this stuff and kind of preserve it because it's a really, it's a really cool memory, man. The local of the fist, I just think that's amazing, you know? Yeah, 288. Tony, did, Tony uh, was the founder of that local, as a matter of fact, you know, I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, that's it. Uh, we're gonna be out of here, and um, we'll see you guys in Bayonne. Thanks for everything, thanks for looking, and Please keep coming down. We're gonna, you know, same guys are gonna be working on your car. So come down and see us and we'll take care of you.